Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar dedicated to the new and exciting releases coming to i3 RDM and i3 Wi-Fi. My name is Alex and I'm going to walk you through all the updates, improvements and fixes that will be released by mid-November. We from i3 Technologies understand that maintenance of a fleet of displays, whether you're responsible for 5 or 50, can be a daunting task. Those updates in I3RDM, our remote display management cloud software, aim to make maintenance simple and support you day to day. Okay, let's jump into the new features. First up, firmware management of I3RDM. All right, let's log in to our I3RDM account. Before we jump into the details, um, it's very important to get notified when a new firmware uh, is ready or has been uploaded to the OTA server. So from now on, if you go to your profile, you will notice that it's possible to receive notifications via email. You can activate or deactivate or via the web browser. So both of them are um, quite important if you want to stay up to date about which firmwares that have been uploaded to the OTA server. Good, if we jump into the details, we move to devices. You will see that a new tab under devices has been added, the tab firmware. Under this tab, you will see only the firmware that, that are applicable for your fleet. So if you have PX75, for example, in your fleet, you will see here the, uh, the latest firmware of that uh, device. Um, so, and, and that's of course for all your devices. If we go into details of a specific firmware, you will have already, you will have immediately very important information at the left hand side, so the release, release notes. And this gives you immediately a nice overview of what is important about this new firmware. Um, right hand side we have the displays that are applicable for this, this, for this firmware. So in this case it's only one displays, but if if you have more ES86 displays, they will all be under each other in this list. Now, if I want to install the firmware, I activate this display. I click on install and I can decide, do I want to install it right away or do I want to schedule it? Because perhaps there's a lesson or a meeting going on in that room. So I can choose which date, which time I want to uh, schedule it during night or whatever. Um, very important, in case a display would not be on at this moment, um, the firmware will come into a queue um, and once the display goes on, it will uh, start the download and installation of the firmware. Important side note here is if you have an E1 or X1, so our latest i3 Touch E1 and X1, they have a special uh, new feature on. So are, the hard drive is, has two partitions. So if, the, if you do the installation, if you hit the installation button of this firmware, the, it will be downloaded and installed on one partition of the hard drive that is not active at, the, at that moment. So the user will not notice that the firmware is installed at, on, in the background. Only when a reboot is done of a display, the new firmware will be visible. Okay, if we move on to um, the details of a display, ES86 in this case, if I move a little down, uh, you will notice that a new tab has been added next to apps, groups, pending action. There is a tab firmware. In the tab firmware, you can see which firmware is at this moment on the device available. And here uh, you have also the possibility to toggle the uh, automatic firmware or uh, disable or enable the automatic firmware uh, update. All right, um, then also new with the uh, November update uh, within the configurations. So configurations is, has already been there. Uh, this, this helps you to configure one display, uh, download the configuration in your RDM account, and then you have the possibility to apply this configuration to groups of devices or to a specific device. Now from November, with the November update, there are three new items that also will be included in this remote configuration package. Uh, first, if you install apps from the i3 store on the devices, uh, also that will be uh, added into the configuration. 
languages. So if you change the language uh, on a device, languages will be also uh, included in the package. And then uh, a last one is also the time zone. Also the time zone from now on will be included in the package. All right, so that's uh, the most important uh, about the new update, uh, the, the firmware updates that you can manage in uh, RDM and also the configuration that has been uh, extended. One small enhancement that also uh, will be with this update, if we move to uh, a specific display, we go into detail. Details. From now on, it's possible also to, to change the name of the display via RDM. As you have seen, i3RDM has extensive capabilities. And those are just some of the updates we have made and will be releasing mid-November. We hope you find those updates useful and supportive of your role and the role of IT administrators you work with to help manage and maintain i3Touch displays. Moving to i3Whiteboard, our whiteboarding application within i3 Studio, we have added some new backgrounds, VR tools, as well as features that allow you to secure your files. Let's dive into it. Good, what's new in i3 Whiteboard? First of all, backgrounds. If you are looking for writing backgrounds, you will notice there are some new backgrounds added. Same for math backgrounds. Uh, we have two new categories. First, meeting. If you're looking for some meeting backgrounds, you can scroll here. And then last new category that we have added is the sports uh, backgrounds, bunch of sports. Let's take, for example, football. If you want to teach today about football tactics, very quickly you can uh, add notes on a football field. Second topic is security. Uh, we had a lot of requests about security, security or securing a file. Uh, from now on, it's possible to add a password on a file. So this allows other people, um, or this protects your file, not allowing other people to open your file. Let's call it test, add password. Take an easy one, two, three, four, okay. save. So from now on, if I want to open this file, it will require the password. Not only that, um, addi additional to that on security, um, aspect. If you move away from the whiteboard, you're doing your browsing on a web or uh, doing other stuff on the i3 touch and you forgot to close your file, no worries because when you move back to your whiteboard it will require every time your password to, um, to be sure that nobody else can open your notes. Um, another very interesting aspect about the files uh, is the size. So we have been able to uh, reduce the size with um, uh, about 75%. So that helps a lot for sure when you can connect your cloud applications, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive to the whiteboard app. Uh, that will, this will help you to open and uh, save files much quicker than previously. And then a last new item that has been added uh, about math. So we have three math tools from now on available in the left hand side. Those tools will only be visible if you are in uh, i3 Studio Edu mode. If you are in the corporate mode, those will not be visible. Only in i3 Studio Education mode. Um, three uh, aspect or three um, tools for math, a triangle. When you add the triangle, uh, it will help you also to stick the line right uh, next to the triangle. So if I rotate the triangle like this, for example, and very quickly you can have different lines. Um, we have also ruler, uh, same way of work. If you want to draw a line next to the ruler, it will help you. And then number three is the compass. Uh, how does the compass work? Left angle is uh, deciding uh, with that one you can decide how uh, big you want to draw your circle um, with the right angle you can position where you have the where you want to have the middle point of your circle and with the top part you can actually start drawing your circle do you want to change the color of your circle go to the objects and here you can mm, change the color so now if i move the circle i will be able to make it in red 
All right, those are the new features of the iTrue whiteboard. We have one more topic left, and that's a quick update on iTree All Sync and Miracast, a feature that will be coming only on iTree Touch E1. Miracast is a very easy to use casting standard that utilizes Wi Fi Direct, differentiating from other casting standards such as Google Cast, AirPlay, etc. I will walk you through now how to cast content using Miracast to this iTree Touch E1. If you want to use the Miracast function from your laptop in combination with an iTree Touch E1, you have to hit the Wi-Fi icon uh, in the right bottom corner of your laptop. Normally you should see the cast function. If you don't see it, you can always um, hit the Windows key and the K button together, and then you, would, you should be able to see uh, the display uh, available. Once you click on this display, a message would appear in the image like this except all right and we have the image from the laptop now via Miracast on the i3 touch e1 you have the possibility to activate the touchback function you have to do that on the laptop side of course once that, that's activated, you have the touch uh, at the display. Some very cool features with this touch function is that also the Microsoft Ink features does work. So if I am in a PowerPoint, for example, uh, in presenting mode, I just take the pen and I can start taking notes. With my finger, I can move to the previous slide or to the previous uh, annotations. And if I move back, you see that the annotations are still there. So this is a very big advantage of using Miracast in combination with the Edge Touch E1. So also the Windows Ink integration is there.